Before starting today's video lecture, I hope that you are familiar to the following concepts. MHC molecules T-cell receptor complex Corceptor CD4 and CD8 Pathways of antigen processing and presentation If you don't understand these concepts, please check out the previous videos on this channel before moving on with this video lecture. In today's video lecture we will find out what are naive cells, effector cells, and memory cells. To understand these terms, we will take reference of T-lymphocytes. T-cells which have completed their maturation, leave the thymus and enter the bloodstream. Then these mature T-cells keep recirculating among blood, lymph, and secondary lymphoid tissues such as lymph nodes. You should be able to recall that mature T-cells are of two types CD4 positive cells and CD8 positive cells. Now, these recirculating T-cells have not encountered any antigens yet. The cells which have not encountered any antigens are known as naive cells. Therefore, here these recirculating T-cells are naive T-cells that is naive CD4 positive T-cells and naive CD8 positive T-cells. Now, let's see what happens when there is an infection in the body. We know that macrophages and other antigen-presenting cells such as dendritic cells are present at the site of infection. Let's say a dendritic cell engulf the pathogen at the site of infection and migrate to lymph nodes where they present antigens to T cells by a process known as antigen processing and presentation. T cells recognize antigens on the surface of antigen presenting cells and get activated. This activation of T cell requires two signals, details of which we will see in next video lecture. For now, we need to understand that, once activated the T-cell undergoes proliferation and differentiation in response to that antigen. Proliferation means the cell divides several times an increase in number. And differentiation is the process by which more, highly specialized cells are formed. The resulting T-cells have now ability to recognize the same antigen as the original lymphocyte. These cells are known as effector cells. Effector cells are the cell which are capable of mediating an immune function. Which means, they can mediate the removal of antigens or cause of infection, without the need for further differentiation. Again, effector T cells are of two types. Effector CD4 positive T cells and effector CD8 positive T cells. These effector T cells are so effective that they perform their function as soon as they encounter their specific antigen on the cells. So, as a result of T cell activation and differentiation, a large population of T cells capable of responding to the antigen, responsible for the infection is generated. Besides these effector T cells, memory cells are also generated. Let's study more about effector T cells and memory cells. There are two main types of effector T cells. Helper T cells and cytotoxic T cells. Effector CD4 positive T cells become helper T cells. The term helper reflects that these cells assist with the activation of other cells in the immune response. Helper T cells have several subsets, the main subsets are T helper 1 cells T helper 2 cells T helper 17 cells and Regulatory T cells We will study details of these subsets in separate video lecture. The main functions of the helper T cells are Regulation of activation and antibody production of B cells Activation and proliferation of cytotoxic T cells 
Activation of macrophages and natural killer cells. Effector CD8 positive T cells become cytotoxic T cells. As the name indicates, these cells recognize and kill infected cells. They are also known as cytotoxic T lymphocytes abbreviated as CTLs or killer T cells. Effector T cells are short-lived cells, 90% of these cells die by apoptosis in few days or few weeks. But a population of activated T cells also become memory T cells which are long-lived. Their main function is to provide protection in case the pathogen attacks again in future. If the same pathogen or antigen enters the body again, memory cells can quickly proliferate and differentiate into more active cells and more memory cells. These memory cells are faster in response. <laughs>